So what's interesting here is that, you know, for Bitcoin, we had this first leg up. I'm on the four hour right now. Is that we had this first leg up here. And you can see down here, this white line are, is the whales. Green line is more of your minnows and retail buyers down here. And when we had this first leg up, you know, we had a little bit of upside and then fell down a little bit and then went back up, right? But the whales down here, I mean, if you look at this area right here, this area right here, it's really not like a huge drop in the whales, right? There's, you know, kind of is just consistent. And retail buyers just kind of went sideways, so maybe a little bit down here in this area, right? For this area up here. And then we had a huge rapid increase. You know, the whales kind of hung on and then retail followed. But what we see up here when we got to this top is that there's been a huge drop in the whales buying here. They've really kind of gotten out and it's mainly been retail, which usually retail and you know, your mom and dad and grandma buyers, usually they're late to the party because they don't know any better, right? Um, you know, so what's interesting here is that it's been dropping. The whales have been kind of getting out more than usual, but it looks like it might be curling up here. And this is what I'm really watching is this line I drew right here to see if there's an increase in the whales buying right here. So we literally just went on the other side of it here, which I think is a good sign, right? On the hourly now. So you can see that, you know, we did go, the whales did go above this line and it is starting to curl up here. Open interest is also curling up, which is also a really good sign here. And then of course your minnows are just, you know, brainless, just buying anything, you know, buying tops and whatnot, like always. So... Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that whales control the market. Not not necessarily because, you know, we see, you know, a lot of this upside here was just minnows and stuff, right? But what we see usually are that whales are generally, they have a lot of money for good reason because they're good at controlling a lot of money, right? If they were bad with money, they wouldn't have a lot of money, right? So typically they're better traders, you know, obviously better traders are going to have more profits, right? So... Um, and they can move, you know, a lot more of the market too, obviously, but, um, you know, usually the larger wallets are more successful traders for a reason, you know, so they've just been kind of stagnant here and their delts just been going sideways, but this kind of curl up here is very interesting, very interesting, especially the open interest. So I'm watching this very closely here, this white line, you know, the other thing that I did write up in the discord was, um, was about the liquidity levels here. So, you know, I, I saw this on High Block, uh, which is a pretty good website. You can see liquidations and a nice liquidation heat map. So, it looks like we do have quite a bit of liquidations here at 23.5 and 25.5, which are going to be your two primary key levels to be watching here 23.5 and 25.55. So, I'm watching both those levels. Um, it's good areas to short. I went ahead and marked them on this. So we can see, you know, this, this, uh, was it 23.2 area, which was our previous high. That was the POC over here of our prior range all the way up to 23.5. Okay. Which is this previous high right here. And then, you know, your next level, there, there could be a bit of a gap up, but we'll probably stop somewhere in here. Like 24K, 24K will be pretty key level too. I and mean, you can see the volume over here. That's right where our prior VA, uh, value area high is as well. So that'll be a pretty key level too. Okay, so we have those two levels there. And then, yeah, your value area high. And then you see there's a bit of a gap up here until we get to our previous high here. 25.2, 25.5. So this is a big area of liquidation um, up here at 25.5. If we were to get past 25.5, which I mean, <laughs> it's a big ask, right? The next stop would be 28.6. But we're not even focused on that right now. You know, right now we're focused on where we're at currently. And, you know, from a, you know, from someone who's been watching and done a lot of TA on shit coins over the years, these, this looks like a shit coin pump. This looks like a BART, right? However, for you to have a BART, you would need to start having some bearish movements inside of it. And we haven't had any of that, right? Overall, we've been making, well, down here, we were making, 
generally higher highs and higher lows, right? For the most part, besides this one, you know, rejection from a new high, which is common at a strong resistance. But down here, you know, anytime we've had downside, it's anytime, for the most part, it's when we've had rejections at higher highs, which is a good sign. You know, um, that's usually a lot of times old, old orders getting filled in, in those areas. You know, but from a shitcoin perspective, I would say this looks like a BART. However, BARTs don't usually have, you know, this kind of upside associated with them. Usually BARTs kind of go straight up and then they kind of like, you know, do a little bit of a, you know, BART at the top, a little curvy head like that, and then come down. Um, but in this case, we don't really have that. We have actually bullish structure, you know, going up. The other concerning thing I would say here is this, um, you know, volume is dropping, which it's not. Volume actually looks pretty good here. Um, but you know, if we don't get enough volume to break up here and we make a lower high right here compared to 23 this, this would be a little bit concerning if we came down here because here we are, we have a one lower high here, right? Right. One lower high. And then we have lower lows forming too, right? That's one thing that would be a little bit concerning if we, if we made a lower high here, um, as well. Um, if anything, I would be looking for shorts, like it's kind of hard to long right now. I would be looking more for shorts, um, pretty much right now, honestly. Um, you know, cause I think there's gonna be some, I think there might be some buyer fatigue coming up, you know, as you kind of near the top of this potentially rising wedge formation here, it does look like we're kind of consolidating here. Not to say that we're not going to go up, but you know, typically, you know, if we were going to go up, we've had many opportunities to go up and you can't really long at a potential top. All you can do is short a potential top, right? So if you're looking to long, I'd wait for it to come down. Um, you know, we have a daily pivot here, which would be actually, which would actually be a great long at 22.8, you know, which is a higher low for this previous one, previous one at 22.6. It'd be 22.8. Um, a good short though would be 23.3 or up here at 23.4. Um, but right now we are at resistance and we're at this trend line as well. But that's what I would be doing. Um, that's what I'm looking to do right now is, you know, I'm not really convinced because we've kind of worked our way up here slowly. I'm just waiting for the volume. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. You know, I can't really enter in a long right now. From this area, it's really tough to do entering a long here. Um, you know, you'd be looking more for shorts when you're at the top though. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.